again. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to Surrey Russia. So we of course on a little trip up to the campsite we made with the plastic TB survival shelter. We're gonna do an overnight up there, but it's gonna be a little bit of a fight to get up there because uh, we still have some uh, broken trees and this and that along the trail. I'm cleaning it out because uh, in the winter it's gonna be tough to get here in the snowmobile. Uh, if it's not uh, clear then we have the car and so on, so uh, why not? So anyway guys, we should be able to drive for a little while and uh, I'm not gonna bore you with that. I have the right tools with me. I'm cutting down some small branches and stuff and stuff and stuff. And uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to mention that uh, earlier today I did uh, plus 400 push-ups and plus 400 squats in 35 minutes before heading out here. And that's awesome. Because we need to stay in shape. But I noticed something up here. We have a hornet's nest down there, which has been dug out. And has and there's a lot of hornets here. That's a lot lot actually. Most likely a bear. You see the remaining. It's down there, there, there. So I would imagine it's not that long ago actually. Still standing. It's still standing exactly like we made it. Very nice. It means that it works. What is it like uh, two days ago or something? Second day. No small fire. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> All right, guys, so you might have noticed that this SRV uh, is a little bit noisy. That's because uh, the exhaust broke. And it's a V4, right? And the uh, exhaust broke. So I decided to break it completely. Normally, you know, the left side of the cylinders, they join together with the right side. And uh, there has one uh, exhaust and one muffler. So what I decided was to give it just two straight pipes. <laughs> just for the fun of it. But I noticed one thing. Okay, the Survival Russia vehicle principally always starts, but I notice that it starts a lot easier with these two straight pipes instead of a muffler and a joint pipes and blah 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 blah. I'm not gonna bore you too much with that. But anyway, just for fun, let's see how, how, how long it holds up and uh, this and that. I haven't brought any additional uh, shelter material. We're just gonna use it as is, as I made it. As I said, I could have used like one meter more. I found out I had four meters, about four meters of this tunnel plast. And it was actually not that heavy. But we can talk about the shelter and all that funky stuff a little bit later. Hey, we actually have some rain going on. It means I can uh, get wet and uh, dry out my clothes. <laughs> we have a little bit of rain. Nothing serious. While it's raining a little bit, I'm gonna sharpen this chain here uh, the best I can. There was a viewer stating that uh, making a fire like I did and I, like I want to in a plastic shelter might not be the brightest of ideas and I kind of agree but uh, I mean if it's cold it's not cold now it's like 13 15 C's but uh, if it's cold and uh, all that good stuff then uh, we might uh, reconsider what is uh, clever and uh, not clever. <laughs> well, anyway, take a calculated risk. It's working pretty well. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Plastic TP. Of course, we have some wetness going on out here since uh, I wasn't able to close it off there. But well, anyway, we of course need some uh, ventilation up there anyways. But I mean, you have space over there. There, 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 there. 
I have, we have good space here. And luckily I have a poncho because I need to get out to get some firewood before it gets dark and that's not gonna be in too long I guess. That's a great thing about being demonetized. I can play music all I want. <laughs> if you YouTube. If you want to support the channel guys, please check the links in the description. Because it's of course a little bit tough time for the channel. There's links to subscribe star and uh, Boosty. Great options for supporting the channel. And thank you very much to Canon Sanders who's uh, made a donation to the channel yesterday. I appreciate that. It's super awesome of you. Little table. As you can see guys, I've been cutting a few meters of this stuff here. Here's the knot, there's a knot there. This is without knots. That is kind of without knots. And uh, we're gonna work on a little bit more firewood. It's a little bit humid. I think it'll burn. I think it'll burn. These feel fairly dry anyway. So this is exactly where one of the pines broke. It seems like it has a, or had some, a little bit of rot or something like that going on in there. We can see the bark is also a little bit funky. So my plan is to to fire this one up, and it's getting dark fast, <laughs> and uh, then it will start to burn, and we'll add some of the more fresher stuff like this one here. They're semi dry. <laughs> They're heavy for pine. All right, guys. I'm sorry. We are continuing a little bit on the action cam here. But uh, we have to start a fire, right? I just wanted to show some of you guys something really, really fast. So here we have a pine, old rotten pine, right? We of course have some birch bark. But uh, whenever you find a pine which is partly rotten, then you can be sure, as you can see here, that uh, we have some fatwood. And fatwood is uh, awesome. I don't know how much we can see here. <laughs> but anyway, fatwood is awesome because it burns really hot. And especially together with the uh, birch bark, because you can see if it's not rotten, then it's not rotten. That means we have some of this turpentine stuff. It's of course not the best top notch quality we can dream of, but it's certainly gonna do. That's just a little tip. If you have an axe or a knife or something. And just to underline my point here, here we have some of this resinous wood, fat wood. And uh, we can just scrape a little bit here, right? With our knife, make some dust, even from a seemingly very low quality Fat wood, I mean, some guys they're selling it, right? uh, it's crazy. Well, you can see we have a little bit of dust here, and it should light straight up, it uh, always does. <laughs> Like that, that's not too bad for the ones of you who do not know. Now you know, and everybody likes to, not everybody, but many like to ask me why you just don't use matches or lighter or something. I mean, you use lab matches, you use a lighter. I use this guy here, it never gets wet, it gets wet, but it works even when it's wet. But we're really fast gonna take our chainsaw and make a few cuts here. Uh, so the fire grabs onto this guy here a little bit better. That should do. Sticks from the pine, or branches from the pine. Ah. 
No need to spend too much energy. We'll get some fire going guys and uh, cook some food and stuff like that. Hang out in the woods. Whee! This is not bad at all. I think we're going to rig up our, our native Siberian rack over there. I made this fire especially close to that, for that. So let's do that. I don't really feel like eating anything. I ate pretty well after working out, so I don't know. I just think we're gonna make some tea and uh, toast some bread. That is, uh, I think that is much more awesome. We have another ni native Siberian setup here, as many of you guys already know, of course. I don't really feel like eating a, a whole big meal, so why do it? Let's check if it's actually boiled. It's actually boiled. Good little fire. This is one of my favorite cooking fires. Just two logs and a fire between them. A double log fire, but it's really great for cooking. And our bread looks awesome. Nine o'clock. Nine eleven, actually. <laughs> Something weird happened to my hand. So it is time to hit the sack, that's for sure. I can see moon, I can see stars, clouds. So, uh, probably gonna be a little bit chilly. But I think tomorrow morning, or not tomorrow morning, but tomorrow we're gonna try and do some stuff with the pines there. Definitely gonna open the road further up to the campsite and uh, I think we can try and make some camp furniture and stuff. Well, we also have a nice little uh, nice night table here, right? That's pretty nice. All right, guys, good morning. 6.03. I gotta get out of here, guys. <clears throat> My left hand is swollen crazy. I'll try and show you what the hell happened. That's crazy. I mean, seriously. That's insane. It's like rock hard. It actually started after I built this shelter here, but it was not that much. And yesterday it was also a little bit swollen, but not that much. But now it's like completely blown up. I mean, seriously. <laughs> It's going to be a little bit interesting to, to drive uh, so my Russia vehicle out of here. I'm definitely not going to, I don't think I'll be able to work with the chainsaw today, to be quite honest. I have a little kind of a scar here, which I normally don't have. It's not as far as I remember anyway. Uh, <laughs> it's rather unpleasant. And it's warm and it's red. Or redder than my other hand anyway. So guys, I'm sorry we have to break off this video like this, but uh, that's just how it is. So uh, please check the links in the description and uh, please consider supporting the channel. That will be awesome. And until next time, get out and train. We've been out training. Awesome shelter. Get it done and uh, do something awesome. Do something nice. See you in the next video, guys. Thank you very much for your time. 